Typical of his leadership and enterprise, Blowers was the first fruit grower to send fruit by rail out of California. In 1869, immediately following the completion of the Southern Pacific Railroad, Blowers rented a railroad car, filled it with fresh grapes, and shipped it to Chicago. The car was designed for freight, not for fruit, and Blowers had no idea how to ship the fruit or what condition it would be upon the arrival. As an experiment, he shipped samples of all of his varieties in order to see which varieties held up best. He then went ahead to Chicago as a passenger to await the arrival and to help sell the produce once it arrived. Most of the grapes didn't arrive in very sound condition, and Blowers lost $1,200 on the transaction, an amount probably equal to $40,000 today. But he learned what varieties could be shipped and how to do better in the future. His work in the packing and shipping of fresh fruit led to the opening of the New York market for California fruit and the development of the auction system for selling California produce. In the late 1880s, Blowers assumed a leadership position in the California Fruit Union. When the California Fruit Union failed due to internal divisions, Blowers organized his woodland neighbors who grew fruit, packing and shipping grapes and other fruits from his railroad siding on his farm and making Woodland a significant exporter of fresh fruit in the 1890s and into the beginning of the 20th century. Although best known as a raisin producer, Blowers was clearly both a local and state leader in the development of the fresh fruit industry in California.